Welcome to another episode of Just Win, where we're here to unlock your mental power and develop a winning mindset. I'm your host, Chris Johnson, and today's episode is talking about motion versus progression. And my co-host, Mr. Corey Smith. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, I know y'all have been waiting on me to come on this show because, you know, I got a lot to Come say. Wh who's been waiting on you? What do you mean? The audience. The audience has been waiting. They've been waiting for me to come on the show because I got something to say. But what do you have to say, Corey? Well, first I want to say thank you to all the people that have been waiting. <laughs> you know, it's finally time. But today I got uh, questions for the OG, okay? Now, my first question for you is, okay, what is your definition of motion? And what is your definition of progression? Can you please break that down for me? Yeah, I, when I look at motion versus progression, mm -hmm. it's almost like an opponent versus an opponent. Okay. Um, through my years, people always confuse the two. Motion is just movement, right? Ooh. But progressing is moving forward. I can give you a great story um, my grandfather shared with me. And the story was about a rocking chair. And what he shared with me is he said, you can push a rocking chair and the rocking chair will sway back and forth. It will move back and forth, back and forth. And it will get all the way up and it will go all the way back, but it will not move forward. That's what motion versus progression is. A lot of times in life, we just go through right. the motion, mm. thinking that we're progressing and moving forward. Mm. Wow. It's a rocking crazy. chair effect. Oh, wow. That's crazy. So leading off of that, you said uh, about motion and progression. So how do you know when you're actually making progress? So progress can be measured mm -hmm. by setting goals, mm -hmm. maybe setting tasks. Um, it's actually planning out things, okay. right? So if you plan out your day and I create a checklist I share the checklist with you. Right. Now, as I'm moving through my day, I can progressively see if I'm accomplishing my goals. Mm, Let's okay. take it to sports. Right. Right? I cannot get better in one day. Mm. So That's I have, a fact. <laughs> I cannot fact. get better in one day. We have people call all the time and say, I would love to work out with you guys one time. <laughs> What does that do? It, it does nothing. The body and the mind is built on routine and repetition. Ooh. So you progressively become this great player. It's not something that happens one time. Right. So if you don't understand the difference between the motion and progression, it will create this mental fatigue oh and it's like you're on this like treadmill of going nowhere so like you feeling trapped you be untrapped this is why when you this is why when you see players that express to you certain things like i'm not shooting the ball well is it them not shooting the ball well mm. or is or they set up their life based on progression of getting just a little bit better every day. That might go over a lot of people's heads. It, it will. That, that is crazy. And so leading into that, I would like to ask you another question about that is, when you talked about people say, oh, I'm not shooting well, how do you stay consistent? What, what would you do to stay consistent and see your progression? Meaning like this, let's say kids have, I have a lot of kids that say, Coach, I'm off, I've been off for this long. And I say, how many times you been in the gym? And they're like, well, I go to the gym. Now, talking about going to the gym, is it about the hours you put in the gym? Because a lot of people say, I put hours in the gym. 
or is it just say, like, hey, I went to the gym. So how do you actually get results by going to the gym? I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a great example. So I want to use this, Corey, you know, we have this cliche of like, I make a thousand shots a day. I've heard that so many times. They lying. <laughs> because it's so hard to make a thousand shots in a day. The only way that you can make a thousand shots in a day mm. is you gotta have habits, you gotta have routine. Mm. You gotta show up and do it over and 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 over again. This generation of kids, if you wanna separate yourself, stick to your routine, develop good habits. And so to answer that question, is in what you do every day. Uh -huh. So if I come to the gym and I have a routine, right. I give my chance, I give myself an opportunity to master the routine mm. before I progress forward. Right. So progressing would be through mastery. Mm. So versus like there's a lot of great like developers out there, trainers, like there's a lot of them because I like what they do. But a lot of times, doing less is more. That's, doing that's less a, is more. That's a gym. So, you know, uh, when, when you watch people do so much, they become masters of nothing. Ooh. And when you, when you master nothing, that's what the motion part is. Ah. So now I show up at the gym and I go through the motion. So now even parents, this message for the parents. Ooh. So okay. parents now have beef with the coaches. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the high school coaches get beef with parents. Right. Based on the parent dropping the kid off to the gym with a trainer. Mm. So what happens is just because you go to the gym doesn't mean you'll see a progression. It doesn't mean that you're progressing. And that happens at every level. So you're saying just when you go to the gym, sometimes you're just busy. You're just being busy over there. You're just going through the motion. Because mm. you can come in with bad body language. You can come in with a bad mental mindset. That's what Just Win is about. Right. Just Win is about what is important now. Right. Developing the right habits, the right routine, and so for people that really want to help, not only players, but we can look at business people. Mm. Most car accidents happen because they're going through the motion, familiar routes. Like, I never thought of that. Yeah, because like, you know, you've seen it before, so your brain automatically programs it. Like autopilot. You're autopilot, that's motion. <laughs> so you want to go through each step every day to make sure that you're moving forward, that you're not gonna be going off the road. Like that happens, it happens in business, it happens in life, it happens in relationships. It happens in sports. Man, so, so what would you say is like a key step or some steps people can take every day to allow themselves to not just like you said, the rocking chair effect. Not just stay in the motion, but actually see progression. That'd be one of my last questions. So I'm really big on becoming mentally fit, mm. right? Mental fitness is a word that I'm claiming because we can see the physical. Right. We can look at somebody biceps. We can look at someone's legs and we say, man, they're in shape. But what you cannot see is their brain being in shape. So I would challenge everyone to get a daily mental routine in place mm -hmm. to help you set the tone for your day. I remember I read that on that book, on the book with the Just Win. 10 yes. Minutes to Win. So our first episode of, of our ebook, which you should go get today, of 10 Minutes to Win, is what is important now. Mm. That's what Just Win is about. What is important now? Now, even in this fast game of life we're in in 2024, right? social media, instant popcorn, instant everything, boom, boom, boom. If you want to progress, just put one foot in front of the other 
Mm. Let's let's set up your 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 mental fitness by giving you a routine. Let's set up your physical fitness through your daily habits. Let's not just go through the motion. Let's progress, putting one foot in front of the in front of the other and enjoying every small victory. I told my daughter this morning. I said this shall pass. Because when I seen her, she was excited and then I came back downstairs and like a mood change or something? Like that. Oh. And it's because she didn't get to finish her Japanese homework. So my thing is, by the end of the day, this will pass. Whether you do good or bad, it shall pass. Mm. So don't get mentally stuck because the storms don't last that long. Oh, you might have to say that again. That might went over somebody's head. I'm just saying, don't get mentally stuck right. because the storm don't last that long. It, on the other yeah. side of a storm is a rainbow. It's a, it's, a, it's a sunshine. So whatever you're going through in life, that shall pass. It's going to pass whether it's good or bad. You can score 40, that shall pass. You have to get up and do it over and over again. And that's what progressing is about. Mm. Motion versus progression. All right. I appreciate that, OG. We out of here. Yes, sir. It's been another great episode of Just Win. Introducing our co-host, your boy. temporary co-host. Temporary. I didn't temporary. Get the job. No, because That's we're gonna have crazy. other people come in and host with me, but he's temporary. I'm talking to not to. Just remember that. Oh Just my God. remember that. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe today. Turn on your post notifications. It's the bell right there so that every time we drop anything that's on this platform, we want you to be a part of our community. Also, put your comments down in the section so that way we know what you want to hear, what you want to see. How can we develop you to become the best person that you could become? We out. We out. Peace.